right. Hey guys, so today I'm back again to talk to you about obviously why horses live longer and live better outside of stalls. A lot of you guys know I'm pretty passionate about um, not stalling horses and why horses should live outside. If you haven't seen my stalling horses video and my life of a show horse video, I'll put those up here for you to go watch. Um, but yeah, most of you guys go. Most of you guys know that I don't agree with stalling horses. I think it's terrible to keep a horse stalled 24/7. Um, a place that I work at keeps the horses like that, and it's extremely sad. Um, and yeah, so. Um, the other place that I work, a lot of you guys know Starburst, she is only stalled at night and I'll talk about kind of my opinion on stalling horses part time versus full time and pasture full time and all that stuff. So some people even after watching a lot of videos about it still don't quite understand how horses lives are better out in the pasture and I'm looking at my phone in case you guys wonder but um, obviously I don't think I don't know, it's just like common sense to me, like why would a horse's um, life be better inside of a box rather than out on a pasture in like nature where they originated from? So um, I'll leave all the links down below by the way for um, like information and sources and everything if you guys want to look at articles or whatever. But basically the equivalent to a horse stall to a human is a five foot wide by seven foot tall box. So in comparison to a horse, who typically stalls are like 12 by 12 boxes, um, the equivalent to that would be like a human, an average sized human being in a five by seven foot box. So if you can imagine being in a five by seven foot box for 24 hours a day, um, I don't think you know that would be very enjoyable. Um, exper experiments showed that a human locked in a box that small starts to get mentally affected after seven hours. So, you know, I get mentally affected just by being in school for seven hours a day, confined in the same building in a classroom all day long. Obviously, that starts to get extremely boring. You get impatient. Just being in a tiny box would be even worse. So, if you can think of like a bathroom as an example, you know, bathrooms are typically pretty small spaces. Locking yourself in that bathroom for at least seven hours out of your day like what what do you do all day you get food in the morning and you eat once you're done eating you just stand there all day just stand there nothing else just lay down take a nap maybe something and the thing that people don't get is that horses sleep at an average of like two to three hours a day horses are awake for 22 hours a day on average so when people are just like oh my horse just sleeps all day you know your horse probably doesn't really sleep all day and if he is sleeping all day that's extremely unnatural and um, not normal behavior for a horse to be sleeping all the time horses aren't aren't designed and aren't meant to sleep all the time horses out in the pasture do not sleep all the time Horses that don't get locked up in stalls live an average to three to five years longer than horses, um, than wild horses, have most doubled life expectancy of a domestic horse. So horses that are um, locked in stalls all the time actually statistically have shown so many more health and behavioral problems. Um, horses locked in stalls often get very frustrated, especially when they're being fed high energy, high sugar grain that makes them hot and have a lot of energy um, and makes them very warm. Horses will get so frustrated being locked in a stall where they can't move and um, expel energy throughout the day and throughout um, you know the evening even at night when they're still walking and grazing all the time and interacting with other herd mates they often often get behavioral issues with riding and um, they start to pin their ears try and bite through the stalls try and bite people because they're often stressed out and very frustrated from being enclosed in a small space for so long so in case you didn't know and you can ask your vet about it if your vet tells you anything different then they're probably not really in the equine expertise but a horse's digestive system is literally des designed to have a trickle effect so what that means is their 
you know, organs are designed to have a constant small flow um, throughout the day, throughout 24 hours. They should always be taking in small amounts of food throughout the day to keep their digestive tract going and keep their cecum moist and everything like that. When horses are locked in stalls, they do not get access to any of that, obviously. And a lot of times you see horses in locked in stalls um, colic a lot more and choke a lot more because they basically stand in there all day and because they're so bored of standing in there, once they get their food, it's like, food! So what does a horse do when their food is here? They wolf all of it down at once and they just eat their whole serving all at once and if your horse doesn't do that that's great but most of the time that's what stalled horses do is they'll eat all of their food they often waste a lot of it pulling it out and stepping on it and poop and everything um, but they wolf it all down at one time and it gets impacted in their organs um, you know they can choke on it stuff like that and I will make a video about what choke is because it is different from you know humans choking but to go with health problems, I mean, horses experience a lot more health problems when they're stuck in stalls, such as joint problems, because in the pasture, a horse is moving all the time, and at a stall, they are, you know, still all the time. All they can do is stand and walk around in little tiny circles. They can't really do anything else. So their joints become way stiffer, their muscles become stiffer, you um, hear cracking, their joints like snapping and stuff when you get them out. Um, a lot of them experience more arthritic, arthritis like type of um, situations because they're standing all their weight on top of their joints all day long. They don't get the opportunity to stretch and move their muscles um, like they would walking around in a pasture. Also, um, shavings and I mean the barns I work at use sawdust. That is not good for your horse's feet. Sawdust, you know, it rots away. It creates that ammonia. Um, that from the urine and the poop, that is not stuff that's good for your horse's hooves. That's not what they should be standing on is moist, wet poop and pee all the time. If you start to see a lot of thrush and fungus problems in your horse's hooves, that's most likely why is because they're standing on their feces all day. Um, they're not being allowed to walk out on the grass and have the grass naturally clean their hooves and the rocks and, um, the natural dirt pull out stuff from their feet. Um... So that's another big thing is, you know, and also respiratory and the barn I work at is heated. So since it's heated, it's basically all completely enclosed. All the doors are shut. There's insulation, everything like there is no natural air circulation in there. So basically when I clean stalls, the dust from the shavings and the sawdust and whatever, um, get all, you know, stirred up and in the arena the arena is all sand so when the horses are in there it stirs up all the dust and everything and when i go home whenever i'm done at work i go home and i blow my nose because it's disgusting and when i blow my nose it's literally just solid brown it's it's disgusting i'm serious and um you know the horses are the same way when you look at the horse's nose it's just like brown snot coming out of their nose that is not what your horse should be breathing in is sand and dust all the time um if you experience your horse coughing a lot and um sneezing and blowing out their nose all the time that's probably a sign that your horse is starting to feel the effects in the respiratory system from all the nasty junk floating around in the air and lastly is well i guess i talked about it a little is the mental behavior so I don't know if you guys um, have taken a psychology class or anything, but most of the time when you are in a mentally healthy state, your body also feels the effects of you being happy and mentally stable and you just feel better all around. The same thing goes for horses. I know a lot of people don't want to believe that, but it's very much true in, um, sorry, in the wild and out in pastures where they have herd mates is extremely mentally stimulating and contributes a lot to a horse's mental well-being. My horses literally have absolutely no behavior problems. I mean, Sugar will try and bite me once in a while when I put her saddle on, but other than that, um, the behavioral effects that you see compared to um, pastured horses and stalled horses are dramatically different because of their mental well-being and because those horses on pasture get to interact with other horses they get to experience that natural grazing stimulation for their digestive the digestive tract and their um, 
you know, mental stimulation. That's what they are designed and um, instinctually designed to do is to nip and graze and bite here and there all day long rather than just eating large quantities all at once. Um, the same goes for humans actually. Eating many small meals throughout the day is way better for you than eating three large meals um, if you guys didn't know that. Um, but all of that and especially the fresh air like I said with the respiratory um, thing I don't even know when the last time the horses at this barn I work at have seen the outdoors and it's extremely um, suffocating in there. I can't imagine being in there all day long because I would just be like, Ugh. just after work I want to get out of there, experience natural light and um, I know some people like Starburst where she is boarded, they bring in the horses at night. So they're kept outside pretty much all day long and then brought in at night. And that's okay. If you have an option of that over stalling a horse full time, definitely go with that. Being stalled at night isn't terrible, but like I said, a lot of people think their horses sleep at night. Most horses do not sleep at night. Horses are awake um, almost 24 hours a day. So, um, you know, what does a horse do at night? They just sit in their stall again. And even being brought in at night, um, Amtrak, if you guys remember her, she's at that barn too. And she will literally just kick and bang at the door of her stall while I'm there working. It's just super annoying and aggra aggravating because she doesn't want to be in there. She wants to be outside doing other things. So, I mean, bringing your horse in at night, I guess, is okay. I can understand if you are a breeder and you are in a highly coyote wildcat populated area that you need to protect the babies or whatever but honestly if you have seen a mare after she gives birth she will protect her baby like no other i wouldn't really worry about that much um but some people do anyway i guess it's not terrible but i mean i don't really see the point just leave your horse out so yeah guys those are some tips and a few facts about horses and their you know atomical design I guess and why horses on pasture typically live a lot longer than horses um, that are stalled even elderly horses the mistake that I see a ton of people make is they stall their elderly horses because they say oh well he's old he can't keep up with the herd or he's his joints aren't the best anymore and blah 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 blah, blah. and even some vets recommend it which is stupid as hell I mean I've seen a lot of vets that do it, but honestly, those vets are just general vets, not equine specific vets. Um, yeah, even horses that are old and are slow would, I guarantee you, much rather be out with a herd just like they have been their entire life than be stuck in a stall just because they're old, especially the last days of your horse's life, the last years of your horse's life. Make it enjoyable for them, even if they don't have teeth. Like, being able to be outside and stimulate themselves by grazing even if they can't really eat the grass, so st stimulating for them. Even if you don't understand it, the horse will benefit way more being outside and being in the herd than they will be stuck in a stall. So if you guys have any questions or any um, comments or whatever, leave them down below. Um, I'm very open to discussion about the topic because, I mean, it's pretty controversial in the equine world because a lot of people just think they need to protect their horse and just lock them in a stall just so they're, they're nice and safe in their cozy little stall. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one.